Welcome to the Zero Gravity Rack installation video. Please refer to the instruction manual for tools you will need. Using a stud finder, locate and mark your stud center lines. Note, if your wall studs are not 16 inches on center, you will need a special mounting kit and you can visit zerogravityracks.com to order it. Once located, place the mount wall bracket along with the level and find level. Once located, mark the six hole locations on the mount wall bracket and pencil them in. Once completed, use a tape measure to measure 19 inches from the bottom most wall bracket hole and mark two hole locations for the retainer bar. Using a 3 16th drill bit, drill pilot holes into the eight marked hole locations. Using six lag screws and flat washers, mount the wall bracket to the wall at the six marked hole locations. Once in place, use a drill to adhere them to the wall. Note, do not over tighten the lag screws. Using the remaining two lag screws and flat washers, mount the retainer bar to the wall at the two marked hole locations. Next, you will need the lower tube frame as well as four round head bolts. Two half threaded and two fully threaded. If installing a SUP, SERP, or kayak rack, please locate the two foam rubber tubings and place them on the lower tube bar. If installing a snow or bike rack, you can disregard this step. For installing any accessory mounting kit other than the bike kit, please refer to the Zero Gravity Rack YouTube channel. Insert the lower tube frame into the upper tube frame. Using the four round head bolts from before, place the fully threaded in the top hole and the half threaded in the bottom hole on the left and right side. Using flat washers and lock nuts, attach the lower tube frame to the upper tube frame. Tighten the bolts using a wrench and drill. Next, take the two safety bars and place them in the uppermost hole of the tube frame. Lock them in place using the two fully threaded round head bolts and a drill. Next, taking the locking gas strut, insert the smaller end into the mounting hole third from the top of the wall bracket tab. Make sure to install the strut on the right hand side of the tab. Using a wrench, washer, and locking nut, fasten the strut to the tab. Lifting the lower tube frame off the wall, insert the larger end of the gas strut into the mounting tab on the tube frame on the right hand side of the tab and use a wrench, washer, and lock nut to fasten the gas strut to the tab. Taking the bike hook and locking nut, select the locations to best fit your sporting equipment and insert the bike hook through the tube frame and hole. Using a wrench and locking nut, fasten the bike hook to the tube frame. Then complete this on the other side. Thank you for watching our installation video. For any more questions, comments, or concerns, please visit us at zerogravityracks.com.